And the Muskegon Museum of Art has just announced a major expansion that will offer visitors even more incredible exhibitions to enjoy. Yeah, joining us this morning to share the details on the Shape the Future expansion plans is the museum's executive director, Kirk Hallman. Good morning, Kirk. Good morning. Thanks Good morning to us. you. Appreciate right. it. Hey, well, what is happening here? Why, why the need to expand? Is it just something we've always wanted to do? Tell us about it. Uh, it's something we've always needed to do. It's been a project we've been having for about planning for about 20 years. Um, we have about 5,000 pieces of art in the collection. Um, it's one of the most amazing collections in the Midwest, and we can only show about 150 pieces at a time because of this uh, ambitious rotating schedule we have of 15 to 20 um, exhibitions every year. And, um, you know, we need some proper classroom space. Our classroom space is kind of makeshift. So we're going to add three new galleries, one large one, a couple of classrooms. It's a pretty modest expansion, but it's going to be um, really significant for Muskegon and the Art Museum. For people that aren't familiar with your museum, I guess, tell us a little bit more about it, if you don't mind, and, and exactly a little bit more behind the campaign to kind of really make all this come to, hap um, come to life. Sure. Um, the Muskegon Museum of Art was established in 1912. Um, it was the first um, building built in the United States to purposely hold art for a city uh, of 40,000 or less. And for the last 108 years, um, we've been a vibrant collecting art museum. We've had one expansion in the past, but it's kind of time to, to do it again. Um, right now, through um, COVID, amazingly, our uh, team has done a uh, um, $7.1 million million dollars raised out of 9.9 .9, the uh, project goal so um, we're just hoping to expand and become a bigger and better version of what we are. It sounds like a good plan and, and, and very much needed with all that uh, artwork just sitting in a warehouse somewhere let's get it in front of some eyeballs but I, I know that one word or one group of people really likes the word expansion and that's architects right <laughs> <laughs> they, they love that word so I mean do you have someone lined up what's the timeline for this when's it all going to be done? Yeah, um, we are in the middle of um, architectural selection process. We've narrowed it down um, a little bit, and hopefully we'll, in a month or two, maybe um, have a selection made. We hope to break ground the end of this year if all goes well, um, at least have a groundbreaking ceremony. And by the summer of 2023, we hope to open it up. And is this going to be kind of in the same area then? If you can kind of explain where you guys are located yeah. for people who aren't familiar yeah, we're in the middle of downtown Muskegon next to Hackley Library, uh, real close to uh, um, Western Avenue, and we are actually adding on to the back of the building into our parking lot. So it'll, we're not building a separate building, we're just adding on. Perfect. All right, Kirk, there's got to be in that massive collection that you have that isn't being shown right now, a couple of favorite pieces that you really, really wish were out there all the time, right? I mean, you've got to have something back there that you're excited to bring back out and brush the dust off of. Anything we can look forward yeah, to? Yeah, a lot of stuff, especially um, we have a pretty um, massive um, Renaissance era print collection. It's work on paper, so we can't um, get that out all the time because the light damages it. But if we have a proper gallery with proper lighting, they call them dark galleries, um, we can have that out all, all the time. So, And being an active collecting art museum, every time we bring a piece into the collection, a piece has to come down, a favorite does. So um, to get, the, get the, the favorites up there all the time for the people who travel here and to see it would be great. <laughs> I just realized that curating a museum has got to be kind of like picking your favorite kid, right? <laughs> right. I mean, it's just like you yeah, love them. Absolutely. You, know, absolutely. you love them all. You know. Analogy we use all the time. <laughs> Muskegon Museum of Art, shaping the future. You can help too, you know. The, the fundraising efforts are still going on. Check out more information at muskegonartmuseum.org. Kirk, thanks you so much for the time and congratulations on the expansion. Thank you. Thank you so much.